Hello everyone. In today's video, we will be covering case number 32 from the speed solving wiki, and that's this case, and it's easy to recognize because you have basically a pair but your edges flipped uh, incorrectly. And for this one, we're not really going to care if it's oriented or not oriented. What we're more going to talk about is how to determine what the pieces are going to do and where they're going to land. Because sometimes you might want to make a pair, sometimes you might want to make an easy case, so we'll go over all that in this video. So the idea behind this case is, is relatively simple. If this is your case and it goes into this slot, then a triple sexy move will insert this case and place it into the slot. So one, two, three. But if we look at what that's actually doing, one of those is creating this case and then we know two sexy moves solves it and inserts it into the slot. Two sexy moves will create your easy case and then the third one is inserting into the slot. So this might not be the case you the might not be the slot you care about. You might care about this slot back here. So if that's the case you want to do two sexy moves and then it will set up your easy case and then you can insert it in the back. All right. So that's if you're doing regular sexy moves. If you do the reverse of a sexy move, then you can create a pair out of this case. And what the reverse sexy move is, is if you move this away, do that twice, that will create your pair, and then the third one will insert it. So three of these in either direction will generate this case. So three sexy moves creates this case or three anti-sexing moves will solve this case. One of them will get you a pair, and one of them will get you the easy case. So it's important to know what this case is doing. So if your slot is here, your easy case is going to be oriented relative to the position that this is in. So if you do two sexing moves, it creates the easy case. But now we have a non-oriented easy case, so you gotta use your thumb. So if you're not comfortable with thumb moves, or you don't like this front insertion like this, then what you would do is you would do the, the anti-sexy move. So you do one, anti, two, anti, and then now you have this case. And then a, more, a lot of people are more comfortable solving this case from the front than the other case, since it's, for me, it's a little easier. It's rigorous and there's no front moves. I find front moves kind of awkward. So it, de it really depends on what you want to do with this case. So if you see this case and this is your back slot, then really it's two sexy moves will create your, your pair. You just don't do that last U prime on your sexy move. You'll do a U and then it'll set it up to insert it back there. If this is your case, or if this is your slot that it goes in, you want to create a pair because if you create a easy case from this position, then it's going to be in non-oriented. So you'll have to do that insert. And if you don't like that insert, then if you do the anti sexy moves, it will create a pair for you. And then you can insert this another way. So with this case, it's super easy to do. It, I mean, you should know sexy moves by now, and you should probably know this case by now. But if you don't, it's important to know what the pieces are doing. So in, if this is where the items are positioned, and this is my case, I don't want to do sexy moves because it's going to create a easy insertion and it'll place the two pieces here, and that requires a front move to insert. So what I would do is the antis to create a pair and insert them like that. So I think overall this is a, a pretty easy case to recognize and to solve. It's just a matter of understanding what you're doing with the pieces and how to generate a pair out of it and how to generate a easy case out of it. Now you should be able to do all of these from the back from every angle, so it's important to Practice your sex moves from all three angles. So you're doing push moves, so you gotta get used to your push moves and you know just just sit and play with this case for a while. And you'll eventually get it. But it's easy to easy to solve. That this is really the only way I ever solved this case. There are other advanced methods to doing a solve for this case, but for this video series, that's not the goal. The goal is to have something easy to remember, easy to execute, and low move count, and you don't have to remember too much. So I think that's it for this case. You either triple sexy to put it in the, to pair it up and put it in the slot, but really what you're doing is you're double sexing into an easy case, 
or your double anti sexing into a pair. And then you insert it in however you like. So the next case we're going to do is case number 33 and number 34 from the speed solving wiki. And that's this case where you have the quarter piece on top of your edge piece and then two, two of them are the same color on the same side. So the, the inverse of that is this. So this is the other version of that. So you either have white facing left or right or front or back, but you'll, you'll notice this because it'll have the same color right next to each other. So we will get to that in the next video. If you have any questions or comments on case number 32, then leave them in the comment section below. And until then, happy cubing.